This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Fish 5 with me, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. Today we're playing a deck that I took out for a spin in Best of One a while back. Uh, I wanted to see if I can make it, you know, viable in, in Best of Three. So we're trying Mono Black Discard. We have tools with the M20. We got Knight of the Ebon Legion, which is a clock on its own. But we got Yarox Fenlurkers. We got Dread Presence, uh, things like that. And, of course, we have Cavalier of Night. Now, the reason why I like these cards is because... Well, I, why I want to try the deck now is because we have enough ways to attack the hand, and Dread Presence might be enough of what we need for the last bit of reach for when our like our Davriels die off. So, as you know, Davriel burns them for two, and or Raiders Wake and things like that. So maybe Dread Presence is the way to close it out. And of course, we have some sweet new sideboard hate and Noxious Grasp, Shiox, Elder Spell. Uh, Singleton Thought Erasure, which I'm not sure, or Thought Distortion, which I'm not 100% sure if I want to play that. I guess we'll find out as the league progresses. But yeah, so the general idea of the deck, as you know, is just play Burglar Rats, um, things like that. Burglar Rats, Discard Effects. Uh, Yarok is not a deck effect, so it won't actually trigger Raider's Wake. But all that really at the end is when you get to Dash. Rogue Shadow Mage, which is at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep if that player has one or fewer cards in hand. Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage deals two damage to them. The player discards a card for minus one. You get three activations off this. Obviously, a single Tamio, I think, really destroys it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to dodge t uh, Tamio. That, that's how we're going to beat it. Other than that, try to remove it. So that holding up any longer, let's see how we do in the league. We're up against Send. We're on the draw here. I'll go ahead and see how far we can get with this. I mean, I want to make Mono Black work. Especially Mono Black Discard. You never know. Uh, that's an Immortal Sun. It's a lot of mana. Mana that we don't have. At least we can go Yarox Fenlurker and start eating their hand away. I wonder if maybe we could have just gone Sultai. Blue Black. Or pretty much Mono Black. Everything else. Like, just for Yarox. Okay, I guess we'll just play the Fen Lurker, eat away at their hand, and then we're just going to do it again. So they start running out of cards here, hopefully. Alright, so that's Chandra's Outburst. Alright, that's a 4 mana spell, so I can see why they would do that. Hopefully we can get to 5 mana from here. I just want to draw lands. Lands from here on out would be fine. We have removal, we have all this extra stuff. Okay, so they're using a shock on our Fen Lurker, so they have one card in hand. Hopefully it's another 4-drop or something like that. Because it looked like it might be. Because if so, then that means they stumble. Oh, we're also stumbling, though, so that's... We need a shot here to get back in this, and we need to hit a land. If we hit Cavalier, we should be fine. We just gotta live long enough to see the Cavalier pay. Alright, so the Spitfire was exiled. Another Spitfire. Oh, a Chandra herself. Well, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Okay, sure. Block here. See if we can set it up to where they run out of cards. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So like this is my only bet, right? Ripping the torch, uh, the the torch courier, and then hoping they don't play a creature or something that I can play craft for them. That's fine. They didn't play a creature here. We do take four, so we're down to seven, which is a concern. But once again, if we just keep hitting lands, we get to cavalier mana. Perfect. That's cavalier mana. So they lose their Chandra. All right, one more. One more mana. That's what we need right now. Just one land. Light up the stage. Ooh. Gross. So that puts us down to five. We have to exile this. No. I don't need that. 
Legion's End is quite a sweet addition to this list, actually. Because if we're, in a way, we're not really discarding, but we're able to eat more cards out of their hand. Alright, it can't be that thing that spawns a bunch of elementals, because if so, that, that kills us. Alright. Finally. A Decline. Let's get in there with the Fenlurker. Cavalier hopefully can pull this out for us, unless we get, we get burnt out here. Nice. Um, what do I want here? Do I even... So that makes it four mana. I could potentially just go awaken the erstwhile. I'm gonna just do that. Throw away two cards, make two zombies. Pass it back. So that puts us at nine. Next turn we can pump the fen lurker. Luckily we did gain the four, so we're not stone cold dead right now. Nice, and we get there. All right, sweet. I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of this. Okay, we need more life gain. It's the only thing that kind of concerns me right now, our lack of life gain. Davriel eats at the hand. A lot of cards that eat at their hand, actually. Ashiok may not be needed. Dread Presence, however, is very good because we gain some life. Raider's Wake doesn't do enough. Awaken the Earthswell doesn't do enough. Okay. Maybe we'll bring in the Elder Spell as a way to, like, blow up a Singleton Chandra. All right, let's try this. Command the Dread Horde is a little saucy, but... Hey, maybe we live long enough to see that payoff. All right, we can just return a few cards. Dread Presence. The big old Cavalier. Not the end of the world there. Not the end of the world there. Now, I don't know what this means for... Like, I, like our opponent, how do they board in against this? Just try to dump everything as fast as they can. Yeah, I, I I think we're gonna pretty much have to play the sweeper game. Oh, good. This is great. We have the Cavalier of Night. Sure, Grim Initiate. Play the Knight of Ebon Legion. So that means we can block it. Of course, if they just spend a removal on it, that it's all the same. Sure. Goner. Alright, show me a second Grim Initiate and I'll fire off Legion's End. Ooh, the Tibble. Okay, that's a problem. I guess we'll just start eating at their hand. Alright, cool. So they're probably going to play Mountain, play Tibolt. Good news, though, is that after a certain amount of time, we can just go ahead. No blocks. No point in blocking that. We try to swing in, if we wanted to. Alright, now we'll just start eating at the hand again. Alright, so they're down another card. They take two. We're the burn deck now. If they play this Tybalt's uh, zero ability, which I assume they will, or minus two ability, we can try to kill Tybalt. Because I'm not going to block. They create a token. Hopefully I can eat it and then swing in with my rat. Sure, that's fine. What is that last card in their hand? Alright, so it's Skewer. Get rid of Tybalt. And now we can start getting to a point where we can... Oh, no. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. It's odd. Get rid of that last card. So they take two more damage. Hopefully we can draw another land here. Another land would be pretty clutch. Kinda need another land here off the top. Two lands, actually. Three lands if we want to get to a Mortal Sun. I think the opponent here should be hitting us. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take this because if I get to play Crafter, uh oh, never mind. <clears throat> Perfect. There we go. 
sit back. Let him take another two. One more land and we get to Cavalier of Night. It's what I want. It's what I need. The Burglar Rat here has been chilling all game. And it's going to continue to chill. I'm going to send the Ravenous Chupacabra in front of the Grim Initiate though. Alright. So Grim Initiate down. So fine with a 1-1 token. That we could trade with the Rat. Ooh, double lander. That is not ideal for the opponent. Huh. I guess I swing it with both. If they don't do anything, I'll go ahead and just exile it with Legion's End. Alright, cool. Pass it back to them. Take another two. Perfect. And then now we have a Cavalier of Night. Send them in. Send them all in. Oh, decline. Send them all in. Bam, bam. That's another two damage for them. This rack effect right here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it from Davriel. Mask of Immolation. Mask of Crimolation. Seems solid. Pick off Davriel. <laughs> Send a message. Let him know. I like it. Sure. We're not really here to win with Davriel's uh, activation ability after a certain point. We're here just so it keeps dealing to you. GG's. John Ev, good luck. Does this deck have legs to stand on? I mean, we are able to beat aggro builds post-board. We have Legion Zen to help stem the... to slow down the board. Cry post-board. I'm a fan! I mean, we need to see if we run into elementals and stuff like that. Ooh, I'll keep this. I'm sure I'll run into a Nexus deck somewhere along the way. Maybe this might be that Nexus opponent. Maybe it's Bant. Scape shift. Alright. Alright, so it looks like it's Scape shift or some kind of Nexus deck. The Grazer? Okay. Sure. Ten Lurker should eat a card in hand. Pass to the opponent. We can try to keep them, like, empty-handed. If they pitch that, that means they have Circuitous Route. Or something to help them ramp. Field of the Dead, that's a problem. Well, they have double breeding pool, luckily, so they're still on six lands from what it looks. Okay. So I need them to not have any more cards to play, but... Alright, so there's seven. Hopefully that's a land in hand or something. Please let that just be a land in hand. Oh... That's a nuisance. That's a huge nuisance. Yep. Get rid of that. Sure. I don't know how we win from here. Yep. And now they start getting zombies every turn. Okay, get rid of that. That card's been a nuisance this time. Also, got to blow this up. Got to blow up the Reclaimer. Let me see. Teferi's coming down. Teferi is a nuisance. It's a huge problem, actually. Okay, got another land. I really don't know how I, I stay in this one, but I guess this is a start. I'll play this. Let me think here. I could blow up the zombie.
which leaves Teferi on board. Because no matter what, they're going to get a, a zombie. That's the problem. So I may as well make it so that Teferi doesn't survive if he bounces. If Teferi bounces, Teferi goes away. Alright, sweet. Can I find something? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and swing in a Teferi. Oh my God, that's so rough. Ooh, instant speed, double zombie. We don't have any of our Legion's ends either, so that's another problem. Sure, kill one of these, doesn't matter. Can we survive? I'm gonna just play this. Make him sack a zombie. They probably sack the one with damage marked on it. Play Knight of the Ebon Legion. Really wanted to land there. Land number six would have been huge. Oh, two zombies a turn now? That's pretty gross. Get out of this spot. Can I? One, two, three. Yeah, sure. Alright. So if we don't find a Legion's end, we're most likely dead. I guess this kind of helps right now. Four, eight, nine. 11? Uh, I don't need, I don't know if I need to take that damage. I can, however, just get free bodies by playing. Sacrifice a land, serve a land, put on the battlefield, tap the shuffle. It's not bad. Two. Five. Six. Ten. Sure. I'm dead. I'm like most likely dead, but. Sure, let's kill the zombie. Grab Memorial to Folly. Really need to find a Legion's End here. Oh wait, why did I do that? Because now it just gave them a blocker. Or an additional uh, combat trick. Oh, they didn't feel the rune. Very nice. Right, because if they do, then I get to put a Swamp into play. Which is, like, not really doing anything, and it gains me life. Alright, let's try that. Come on, Swamp, off the top. Jeez, Louise, come on. That's disgusting. That's actually disgusting. All right, sure. Yep. Deal two damage. I guess I should have drawn a card actually because I need to find a card right now. Nope, did not find it. I guess I still have a shot. Sack that. Go dig for a swamp. Swamp enters the back. I can lose it. Nope, didn't draw it. Nope, didn't draw. Uh, hold on. I could discard my whole hand. That's ten zombies. I'd only have seven blockers. No, that's not enough. Only have seven blockers after that. Darn it. Eh. I think we could, so that's 10, so four gets, uh, three gets through, so I'm still dead. That's exactly lethal. No Legion's End for me. Unfortunate. I should probably be playing uh, Field of Ruin too. Okay. Argyle's Bloodfast helps us draw cards. Thought Distortion can be a bit of a nuisance. Ashiok's pretty decent here. Cuts them off of finding more cards. Ravenous Chupacabra, not exactly what I need. 
Horn, not exactly what I need. Immortal Sun, eh, not exactly what I need either. Exiles, Cry, guess we can go down in Ashiok. Raider's Wake requires us to have a board. Chupacabra is decent, but I don't think it's good enough. Cavalier of Night doesn't do that much. It gains us a ton of life back, actually. It's fine. All right, I have to take out two cards. Raider's Wake, I guess. We can go down a Raider's Wake. Argyle's Bloodfast draws us a ton of cards, and we do need that. Let's go ahead and run with that. I'll probably keep all the Noxious Grasps in and stuff like that. We have more discard, targeted discard, which is better this time around. Can't keep that. All right, I guess this is something, so I'll keep it. Sure, throw a land away, play a Knight of the Ebon Legion, pass to the opponent. We have some aggression here, although I just hate that we get beaten on the ground. Let's see what they throw away. We don't have any evasion. We're just looking on our, for our, all of our sweepers and stuff like that to deal with our opponent. Interesting. I'm actually going to go ahead and just let this run its course right now. I'm going to eat their hand. And then pass back the turn. Hopefully next turn I can play both a Knight of the Ebon Legion and Pump. So I need a Swamp. Or I could play Raider's Wake. Get him to discard two next turn. Sure, Teferi Time Raveler. Okay, you got it. A mind is a terrific thing to weigh. Send in the rat to kill the Teferi, then they have to discard another card. They're running low. We're almost getting to that point where we can trigger our, uh, our Davriel. Because they need to have, what is it, one or fewer. They have two cards. If they play a land, it's already changed. I mean, if they bounce the rat, then that's fine. Sure. that. Get him to discard a card. At least another one. Let me think here. I can set him down to one card. Because if they play a land... Nah. I won't do that. I'll just play this and pass. If they board wipe us, they got us. They need a second white to board wipe us. Alright. Here comes the time wipe. Ooh, Golos. All right, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Oh, boy. Luckily, they're getting close to dead here. So I can actually swing in. This might be a bad idea. Cool. Yep. Yep. They discard a card for that, then they take two more. Sure. Trust me, I have a plan. So now they are in a spot. I mean, I just swing in, and then they they take another two. I can mill. All right, we got there. Let's take a look here. What do we want to get rid of from their hand? There's a lot of cards we want to get rid of, but most of them are creatures. I guess a Chupacabra isn't, like, the Stone Cold Worst here, right? Sacrifice another card. Chupacabra's not a solid body, though. The Knight of the Ebon Legions were pretty solid. Noxious Grasp may not have enough of an effect. Although Noxious Grasp cleanly blows up a Planeswalker, which is pretty major. 
Okay, I think this should be good enough. We'll go down a planeswalker of sorts. I guess we can go down the uh, burglar rat. The game is out like where there's like randomly a rope sound for like the rest of the match. All right, we'll go ahead and pass. Play burglar rat. Then we'll probably go ahead and hit him with the Yarox Fen Lurker. Or no, Fen Lurker can pump itself though. Next turn, which is pretty sweet. Sure, the Grazer. So they're down a card in hand. So they have four cards. Top, so probably like a Teferi. Or, yeah, Teferi or something like that. Let's go ahead and start exiling some cards. Alright, there goes Devout Decree. That's good for us. Sure. Alright, Circuitous Route. This is not good for us. Because we didn't... Even if now we hit Ashiok, they've already, it's already done its job. Let me guess, feel the dead off the top. Let me think here. Let's go ahead and get started on this. The pain train of Davriel. Alright, circuitous route. They take two. Hopefully we get, like, a land here. I need them to... I need a fade scape shift, though. That's the problem. Fade a scape shift. Also, fade a feel of the dead here. Golos. Nope, they found it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. So I need to beat a Golos. Three, six, seven. Wait. Do they have two of the same? Three, six, seven. Oh, interesting. No, 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 don't, don't use this. What am I doing? We're just going to play our friendly little rat here as a way to just buy some time. <laughs> Hopefully we can chump block enough. They need a red source and a black source to actually activate Golos. There it is. If we find a land, I'm going to blow up Golos. Tax, I'll let it sit back. Ugh, what a whiner. Okay, what do we got? We could potentially still win from here. Yeah, that's a problem. Good news though is that we do have the Legion's End, the Singleton Legion's End. So we have to wait until the board gets built up enough for this to all matter. Alright, so we're going to grow our Knight of the Ebon Legion, give it Death Touch. Well, geez. I guess we could just play... What does a Legion's End do for us right now? Not much, really. So I'm going to go ahead and play Dread Presence. Start draining my opponent even more once we start hitting lands. So they're down to 8. Oh, they hit it. They hit the Devout Decree. That's a problem. Okay. So we need to find another Davriel. Alright, we just need swamps. Oh no. All we need are swamps. Okay, that's a problem. Cool. Cool. And then now we can go ahead and do this. Send in all the damage there. Nice, and we won! On a nice little 2-0 run here, we beat Scape Shift. We beat uh, Cavalcade Red. So what else is needed? I, I can't imagine us having the best of times against Kethis Game 1. We'd have to be able to like get lucky, hit them with the uh, Legion's End early hit them up with the legion's end on like their their diligent excavator hope that it rips like two to three of them but then they just hold on to them for the rest of the game until well until they're ready to go off unless our discard can do something about it yarox fend lurker or whatever will be pretty sweet because it exiles whatever they choose 
All right, our opening hand so far looks to be... Okay, we'll play it as if they're an aggro deck. If they are, that means we have double Legion's End for them. Okay, so if it's Esper, I really want this Argyle's Blood Fast. It looks like it is. Please don't Thought Erasure me. Ah, uh, yes! Cool. Oh, they have double Thought Erasure. That's painful. Well, I guess I know what's about to happen this turn. Probably losing the Argyle's Blood Fast. I think they're tanking here. <laughs> like, I think they're reading Awaken the Erstwhile, and then they're going to take the Blood Fast. There it is. But if we get to speed our way up to this 5 mana, make them throw away all their cards. We have about a matching amount of zombies. Ooh. This will be good. So now they have to exile a spell from their hand. Your Ox Fenlurker, come on. Just got to keep hitting their hand. That's all we got to do. If I'm them, I probably keep the land, keep the 2-3. Yeah, there you go. Get rid of the Thought Erasure because you know there's not too much going on in my hand. So you jam the land here. Oh, okay. Legion's End. Okay, so that's another hero of Precinct 1 then. Interesting, okay. Well, I guess I'll just play- wait, why would they- I thought they- if they ripped the Legion's End, they would have had like a hero. Guess not. So I guess we're gonna play Dread Presence. Sure. Oh, come on. They'll get two zombies, but if I get to untap with Awaken the Erstwhile, that'll be pretty sweet. Although I might just want lands. Alright, Hostage Taker is a bit of a nuisance, I won't lie to you. So now we have to kill the Hostage Taker? How do we do that? Oh, that's how. I guess I'll sack the untapped. And then now I guess I can bring back. Sure, that's fine. Wish I had a swamp to have drawn at any point there, but did not, so quite unfortunate. Here, I'll give you a zombie. Cool. Five mana, discard a card. I like it. So they're out of cards. We're out of cards, but the issue is that they have things like their Command the Dread Horde, which we need to find our own. Ooh. Let's go ahead and do this. Playcrafter. Go ahead. I'll offer up the trade. Yep. There's the trade. Okay, cool. We hit their whole yard. So, I mean, we didn't hit any of their Planeswalkers, which leads me to believe that they have a Planeswalker in their... They, they are likely to draw one soon. Cool. Resolves, make him exile a card. I could potentially just sack the, like, wait to sack the folly. Wait till next turn. So they're holding on to lands. You got it. I'm gonna wait. I think that could be a thought erasure. I don't want to get caught out by that. If it is a thought erasure, I'll wait. Yep, there's Teferi. I mean, we didn't see a single one of those, so I'm not surprised. 
Okay. They're about to untap. Submit one. Let's get that back. Let's see it. What do you got for me, opponent? Do you have something that excels my yard here? I'm going to probably sack the Plague Crafter. Do they play Absorb? Yep. Let's go ahead and keep going. Really not... Another Teferi was hit and all of that, huh? Okay, sure. What do you got for me, opponent? It's weird. What are they holding on to? They probably just don't want half of my cards if they are trying to, like, play command the Dreadhorde because none of them are that good. <laughs> sure, you got it. Oh, gross. What are they going to do now? They bounce their, their Oath of Kaya back, sure. What? What is this? Two mana up. Interesting. It might just be Tyrant Scorn or something like that. Sure. That's five mana. So I may as well spend the three. Float a ton of mana, sure, whatever. What are they tanking on? Like whether or not they should kill this? I highly recommend it. Here it comes. I know you've got it. There you go. Sure. Sure. Yark's Fen Lurker will then eat the other card in hand. And we continue just trying to mill our opponent, but we're not hitting any of their t big Teferis, which is a concern. Now, if we just find a Legion's End, we should be okay. Oh, we really need that Legion's End right now. That Legion's End would be pretty clutch. Don't want to lie. Sure. Ashiok down. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say you only need to attack with one of those creatures. No blocks. You got it. Ashiok down. A swamp. Alright, let's go for Teferi. Okay. Oh, boy. How do we win from here? This is the problem. I've got time. Okay, they hit a land, so Legion's End is our only bet. But if they bounce this back, it's going to be hard to kill. Oh, boy. Once again, in it's a fairy. All right, let's go ahead and activate this. Sure. Kill the token. Play Knight of the Ebon Legion. Pass. Where is it? We have, I think, maybe one or two more Legion's Ends in our deck. I think we have at least... I know we have at least one more. Best case scenario is we find the other one. Uh, I don't know, though. They are getting close to the core of their deck, if not already there. Yep. That's a problem. Yeah. You got it. Probably bounce my Fenlurker if you want. No, that seems decent. It's fine. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So, I can kill both of the hero precinct ones. Okay, they're blocking it once. They're blocking it twice. Perfect. So I can go ahead and make six mana here, which would then grow this, grow this, kill both, play Knight of the Ebon Legion again. Really need them to not hit something crazy here. 
It was nice, though, that we were able to hit... How many hero precinct ones is that? Two, three, four. That's all four of their heroes. Very good. Yep. Kill Teferi. Play Knight of the Ebon Legion again. Pass. I don't know. Maybe they have a board wipe or something. No, if they had it, they would have played it. There it is. Big Teferi. Alright, we could just kill them if they don't... Alright. I think we can kill them. They have to have a removal spell. Instant speed removal spell. Okay. Let me think here. That's seven, eight mana. So if I plus here, isn't how many times do I have to plus this? One, two, three, four. I have more than enough. Boom! Got there. Nice. The big old Knight of the Ebon Legion. Hit him for 13. How do you feel? I mean, I do like Teferi, but not enough to... I, I do like hitting Teferi, but not enough to uh, not kill my opponent. I hear lethal is decent. Lethal is decent. Alright. Now what do we have? Burglar Rats, Dread Presence, Raider's Wake, Ravenous Chupacabra. The Pupacabra is actually pretty decent. Um... What are we afraid of from the opponent's side of the board? Legion's End was pretty clutch there. Playcrafter, maybe go down one. Raider's Wake on the draw, probably go down one. Dread Presence, I mean, Dread Presence is decent. They do have Hostage Takers, though, so I should be mindful of that. Waking the Erstwhile, pretty decent. Thought Distortion, something I want eventually. Eldest Reborn, Ravenous Chup. I need to take out two cards here. I don't want too many Duresses against them, I guess. Go down a... No, yeah, go down a Burglar Rat. I guess we can go down a Cavalier and then run like this. After a certain point, we will just be able to win through... Oh, hold on. That weird, like, snake, or like, you know, explosive sound or whatever is going to go off. Let me see here. Sound effects. There we go. I have to turn off the sound effects because it's doing that weird bug where post-board, it, like, has this, the, the rope sound. All right, we have an Immortal Sun. We have somewhat of a curve. All right, rip the Thought Erasure. Just got to watch out for Hostage Taker stealing the Immortal Sun. Oh, that's so good. Actually, yeah, no, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and play Legion's End now. Get rid of the hero. Don't even have to worry about it anymore. Then we could play Ashiok Dream Render. Then Ashiok gets to sit and chill for a few turns. Oh, that wasn't that good of a mill. I do like Ashok's voice actor, though. That, it, it is such a cool sound. The voice is so sweet. All right, just start milling again. Now what? I've lost my I guess I'll play the Burglar Rat. This eats probably the island. Yep, there goes the island. They'll probably try to steal my Burglar Rat, which is fine. Ooh, Elite Guard Mage. Never mind. That's a way different game plan. All right, let's make him sack. The elite guard mage. Mill them some more. You will be haunted okay. What do you got for me, opponent? What do you got? I want them to play the hostage taker. Like, if I could just get them to play the hostage taker, everything will be fine. If not, I have to rip the hostage taker from their hand. Sure. They eat my burglar rat. Hopefully I draw a land off the top here. Yep. Play the burglar rat. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted. Huh. So I have four or five mana. Play this. Behold. Sure. Mill more of their graveyard. Remember your nightmares remain. I hope my dread presence stays, please. If they swing in even with any of those, that that would be fine. Let's slow uh -oh. this down. Oh no. If they bounce the burglar rat, that's a concern. If they bounce the hostage, both of those are just a concern, actually. 
I need one land. Come on. Just one land. Yep. There it goes. Yep, there goes my Dread Presence. I probably should have milled myself with Ashiok, to be honest. Yeah, I probably should have put milled myself there. Yep. Yep. Did not hit anything, unfortunately. I leave you with... I suppose that's how you meant it. Yep. Mill more of their cards, I guess. Only time will I really should have seen that. How do I kill this hostage taker and my own dread presence? If I had just to land at any point there, that would have been pretty good for us, but I did not, so that's unfortunate. I'll protect you. Yeah, I think I think not milling myself there actually hurt me in the end. I should have milled myself with Ashiok to increase the odds of me hitting something. Yeah. Oh, wow. And they hit the swamp off of it. Opponent better at swamps than I am. Darn it. Oh, jeez. Full-fledged assault here. This is brutal. You strike into fear. Still no lands. Uh... This is difficult to digest. Still in a bad spot. They just sack the rat. I sack my plague crafter. They're hitting me for seven. Dread Presence has the potential of hitting me for more. Let's try this. Come on. Who would have thought that uh, sixth land that we were desperate for would never show? GG's. GG's. We go to the next game. Yeah, the sixth mana was all we really wanted, but just could not hit it. So unfortunate for us. All right, Legion's End might be a thing we need to play. Take out two cards. Cavalier too far away. Thought Distortion. Maybe Thought Distortion isn't that great. Yeah, maybe I'll just drop the Thought Distortion. I don't even know if I like it in this build. I really want it just for the combo decks, but the combo decks, don't even you don't even need them in there. So actually, yeah, what matchup would you want them in if not there? Or in the control matchup? Yeah, Thought Distortion may not be worth it in the board. Sure. Garrox, Fenrir. And we don't have an answer to this hero. This early hero might run away with the game. Oh boy. All right. Hero on two. Uh, that's not what I wanted. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play Yarok's Fenlurker. Probably eats a land or something like that. And then what do we have next? We have... If we draw land number four, we can go Burglar Rat plus draw a card. All right, so that we land from their hand. Was it Teferi? Yep, it's Teferi. They make a token. Aw, uh, deck. Come on, deck. You know what I'm looking for. Yeah. That's the right target. You definitely bounce the Argyle's Bloodfast, not the Fenlurker. Sure. Okay. Let's go ahead and play Burglar Rat. Eat a card from their hand. That Hostage Taker is going to become a nuisance. I mean, we're getting close to the core of their... Oh, they threw away Hostage Taker. All right. Very interesting. Go ahead and pass. I'll trade the Rat with the token, I guess. Or double block a hero. But for some odd reason, I don't think that's going to resolve. That's more like it. Oh, yeah. So they definitely had another hostage taker. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is just a, a bad time for us. I mean, we should probably have more things that kill hostage takers. I need like a chupacabra or something. The land won't cut it, so... Cavalier's not bad. Cavalier's not bad. Huh. Cavalier is not bad at all. I can pitch Davriel. Pitching an Elder Spell seems loose. Yeah, I'm going to just pass. This way, if they decide to play the Plague Rat or whatever... We can go ahead and draw a card. Lose two health. Oh boy. Need a little bit of a miracle though to come back from this one. Because I gotta still beat this hero precinct one. Don't worry. I got that is just going to run over, run away with the game. Ooh. Oath of Kaya. Yeah. You got it. Resolves. Deals with my Fen Lurker. Maybe they could have just gone directly at me. Yeah, that was a pretty good run. That was a pretty good go of it. Because I mean, I needed that to sacrifice. So I need to hit a land here. Then I could sack it? Sure. Transform. No, it doesn't matter because no matter what, we take lethal. We take lethal no matter what. Uh, we'll see if they see the line. I'd be surprised if they didn't. It's just literally bounce with Teferi and then kill me. They got it. GG's, Mr. Dynamita. Good luck. All right, two and one right now. Maybe I should go up a little bit more lands. They only have a few spells that get ridiculously pricey. But yeah, maybe maybe we should go up a land. 
most of our curve is around like one and two. If you go up around four, uh, sure. Please draw a land. Give me a land. Nope. All right. All right. So it's, it's some kind of Nexus deck. Yep. All right. I guess we'll just keep attacking their hand. Oh, no, they have Risen Reefs. Okay, that kind of undoes all of our work. A Tamiyo also does undoes our work. Hydra. Sure, that's pretty good. Unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, we, we need, might need to go up lands here. I mean... Oh, that's so gross. <sighs> yeah. That's a good one. Anything that we can use to kill that is four mana, so we're quite away from that. Well, we got another creature that's at least at two mana. Yeah, I should probably just go up lands. Another Llanowar Elf, nice. Well, maybe we draw a Legion's End. No blocks. There we go. Almost there. Just gotta make it two to what two more lands? Or land chupacabra. Uh we're not in a good spot anymore. We're not actually a miserable spot. Sure, no blocks. This Hydra has trample, so. Sure. Yeah. I don't know if we have a way to clear all of this. Yeah, I don't think we have a way to clear all of this. Not a clean way, at least. Two, four, six, eight. That means I take six. All right, I gotta draw a land. Ha <laughs> oh, Thank you. GG's. All right, that was just a, a rough go of it. We didn't draw any lands. For the longest time. I might also need some more ways to like actually kill our opponent's stuff. Outside of Legion's End. Because a lot of this stuff does dodge Legion's End. I saw that they're on Bant with like a few Planeswalkers. So I have to assume they have a few more. I'm going to I'm gonna try it this way. I'm going to play. I'm going to still leave it on a single Immortal Sun. Because I saw a few Planeswalkers. I have to assume that Tamiyo is somewhere in there. I probably could bring in more Elder Spells. They had a bunch of Mana Dorks though. They're just Bant Ramp. Okay, so had I drawn a land, I would have been able to sack something to hit the Cavalier. Sure. This is getting a little ridiculous. Where's all my other lands? I guess the, the thing with this deck is, though, you don't really have a way to, like, fix your draws. You're just, like, living off the top of your deck. Hmm. If I kill this, they just play another Mana Dork, but it slows them down a turn. What can they play on three? Teferi? Might just be better to get rid of the elf than to play the burglar rat. Sure. All right. Try to hit their hand again. A single Tamiyo super shuts off our deck, though, until we find a way to answer her. Tamiyo is kind of terrifying. Okay. Legion's end, Legion's end, Legion's end, Legion's end, Legion's end. Please, Legion's end off the top. Oh. Okay. Still need a Legion's End at some point. Oh, it's Nissa. Okay. I don't think we beat this until we draw a way to kill it. So I need either a, another Noxious Grasp and some kind of just removal spell, please. Well, that doesn't do it, but is this another blocker? Sure. If you surrender now, let me pick your brain for a minute. So they lose to Davriel will die because another land comes into play. Interesting. Perish the thought. Okay. I probably could have done that differently, but let's see here. 
I'll just grow my board. Or I mean grow my Knight of the Evan Legion. Start withering away at the threats here. Davriel falls off to the wayside. Yep, Davriel's going to get beat up by an elemental. Yep. Man, if I had a ritual of sit though. Come on, game, please. Come on. What kind of meme is this? Oh. All I've left you is pain. I don't think there's a, an out here. There's no single out we have. Because we don't have Ritual of Soot, so that I do know. Sure. Three. Sure. Deck, please. Yeah. Struggling. I, I actually am struggling. That is a very ob observant... I mean, you make your lands indestructible. None of these are the same. The two Sun Petal Groves are the only thing. I'm dead either way. Like I, to be honest with you, I would just play. make another elemental. Okay. Land will help us find a way. I guess Legion's End is still a way for us to win this. Although they are just able to grab every forest in their deck, right? Yeah. That's a problem. That's some serious deck thinning. <laughs> oh game oh game you're very funny I appreciate it the game's got jokes game's got jokes all right so we'll go ahead and blow this up I don't really know I don't think there is another out we have other than just they're down to six can we deal six damage like can we deal four? Oh, definitely gonna lose now GG's destroyed not nearly as good. All right, Sphere God, good luck. Can we get one more win with the deck? Now, as you know, X2 immediately. We had to start a new league. So let's see if we can uh, get another win with this. Sure, we needed you like all of last match. It's not enough removal, I guess. I mean, we can hit their hand as much as we want, but not enough removal in the deck. All right. See what the opponent plays after this. Alright, so it's some kind of vampire deck. I might actually have to go Argyle's Blood Fast. Because it's looking like another one of those games where I might need to go digging for lands. I want to save the Legion's End for something better. Oh, that definitely qualifies as better. Oh, please. Yes! Alright, cool. They tapped out. So that means I don't have to worry about them, like, shocking to, like, protect the, the target. Yep. All right, there we go. Pass back. I guess I'll just block. Make them uh, go ahead and use that Bedevil. Or, no, they could send that Footlight Fiend damage to me. Hmm, bit of a nuisance. There we go. Had to get that land. And now we did. All right, let me get another Swamp. Or some kind of untapped black source. So then I can play Dread Presence at, after a certain point here. But not yet. Not quite yet. Alright, so I will block with Knight of the Ebon Legion on this. If it's better to pay each opponent, sure. Let's go ahead and see if they, they kill off the Knight. They probably will, as I would. And then we get to play Crafter, so that's nice. Yep. Seems about right. Alright, pass to the opponent. There you go. They got the second black source, so now they can play like Rafter Demon, things like that. Ooh. Alright, well at least we get to get rid of the Bedevil. Part of me just wants to go ahead and just draw again. 
But I should probably just make them discard that Bedevil before they get more value. Now, what I'm going to hope for is that I get to actually pull off. Like, either get them to use the Fanatical Firebrand. I'll take four. That's fine. Sure. If you want to blow up my rat, that's cool with me. All right. So we're going to take four. At the very least, four. Okay, cool. Give me a land. I'm just going to draw. Yep. Seems good. I thought I played enough, but 23 might... I mean... 23, I guess, average is about, to, about me sitting around three lands. That's unfortunate. For the life. Alright. I'm going to just have to play this. Let the Rafter Demon kill my uh, kill my rat. Take one. Go down to five. Flip the Argyle's Blood Fast. Transform. So now we have mana. Ah, there you are. Actually, this is better. I get to play Dread Presence. Play my Swamp. Deal two damage to the Rafter Demon. Gain two. Pass back to the opponent. Get to block Footlight Fiend. Sure. This and yeah, like that line allows me to use Ravenous Chupacabra on something else. Alright, get in there. Three damage. Sure, they're down to 18. Still kind of a bit of ways to, to go for us to kill them. Oh, what is that? Is that from Resident Evil? The Spinal Centipede. Okay. That's a saucy card. Alright. It's died. In response to the Footlight Fiend ability, I'm just going to sack my Chupacabra. Gain two life back. Sure. I guess I get to play Eldritch Reborn, make him sack the Spinal Centipede. Because the Centipede dying grows another creature. I don't need that in my life. Not when I'm at nine. Alright, deck. What do you got for me? Ooh, a profit. Okay, well, at least we can target that. I'll go ahead and exile that profit. What do we get to bring back on their turn? I guess we could bring back Knight of the Ebon Legion. Knight of the Ebon Legion, the Demon. All right. Yeah, we're definitely going to bring back Knight of the Ebon Legion now. Boom. Take that. And now just play Ashiok. Sure. Why not? Mo no more about their deck. I mean, if I swung in, I pumped, that would have been 7, 9, so they'd still be at 1. Or, yeah, I don't even have haste, so never mind. I can't even swing in anyways. Alright, so they have Mayhem Devil, Spawn of Mayhem, so they're gonna, they're pretty much like a, a, a Rakdos, the Sakdos deck. Oh, Vampire of the Dire Moon. The sauce. Alright, let's just kill him. Boom! On to the next game. I probably want to play Cry the Carnarium against this deck. Seems like the opponent's got quite a few things I want to hit with it. Mortal Sun seems a bit expensive. Our whole deck feels a bit expensive. Awaken the Erstwhile probably can't play. Raider's Wake is not great on the draw. Okay, should be good enough. I'll keep the Singleton Command the Dread Horde in. And we're starting game two with two Burglar Rats, Legion Zen, and Ashiok. Sure, why not? I think I could do that. I think I can get away with that. We have some removal. I, I know I sure as heck have been looking for this like all of the last couple of games. We couldn't find it, so definitely keeping it. Pass. Whoa, I went first? Acceptable. Yes. Vampire of the Dire Moon, you go ahead. Um, I hope they have more again. Like they, I hope they have multiples of this card again. Although, most likely, I'm just going to chump block it with Burglar Rat. Yep. Oh, you don't got to worry about that. I would gladly trade that every day of the week. All right, send another Burglar Rat to go eat at that hand again. If we draw one more land next turn, we can go Raider's Wake, which is pretty solid. Ooh, a Murder. I probably should play a few hard removal spells in this deck, though. Outside of Chupacabra. Okay. 
Didn't hit the land, so we're gonna have to go run with this. Yarox Fenlurker. I probably could have attacked first. All right, so it's another murder eaten out of our opponent's hand. Pass. Hopefully we get to draw a fourth land. If we do, then we get to go play Raider's Wake. We get to attack. That means they discard a card. I love that artwork of Child of the Night, by the way. That artwork is clean. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and play Raider's Wake. They discard that last card in their hand, which was a murder, of course. Wow, they had a lot of murders. Sure. I'll trade the Fen Lurker. I probably should have swung with the Lurker and then left the rat back to block. Yeah, I'll just play Dread Presence. Why not? Now I get to block some more. Okay, Footlight Fiend times two. Oh, this is going to be great. No blocks. You got it. This is going to be great. I get to go ahead and trigger my le or get my value off Legion's End. Nice. Got in there with my two... Uh, two creatures. Now Raider's Wake will trigger. They take two more. Man, these lands. <laughs> they continue to elude me. Alright, well, luckily we were able to exile more of their cards. Get all of that out of there. I don't know. They probably have something that reanimates a ton of stuff. Take two more. Every card can't cast does hurt, though. Significantly. Oh boy. Well, let's go ahead and just play. Argyle's Bloodfast. What do we draw? Not a land. Start milling. I guess I go ahead and swing in with the... No, I, I just wait. Because if I draw a Swamp, then I just get to pick off the Spinal Centipede. They probably want to hit Ashiok at a point, but... Can, I, I guess it's fine. I'll, I'll trade the rat in for that. Well, geez. What did I find? A land. There we go. Boom. Pick that off. Then, boom. Hit him with the Legion's End. Get in there for three. Eat up their deck some more. Pass the turn. I like Dread Presence. I think Dread Presence is actually a really sweet card. It's a shame that I, I'm not able to, like, that... I wonder what kind of deck this can go in. GG's, opponent. GG's. Well, our overall record was 3-2, and two, which is respectable. Uh, I think that the deck definitely needs some more hard removal, as we saw there towards the end. We struggled dealing with boards that went way too wide. Uh, Cry of the Carnarium is not enough, so Ritual of Soot... And more importantly, more lands. I think, so like we play 23 lands currently, definitely need a ton more. So that that's definitely on my, that's on me. I, I definitely think that we could have probably had a few more closer games had we just drawn lands here and there. Uh, but yeah, the deck performed, like when we got the plan going with Raiders Wake and Davriel, it looked beautiful. It was working just wonderfully. And the sideboard needs some tweaking. I don't think the do uh, the thought distortion is good enough. Cry the Carnarium won't be able to handle big enough boards. So uh, maybe a few Ritual of Sits. But yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Fish 5 Let me know in the comments or through Twitter. Reach out to me, however, if you've got your own mono black discard list. I'd love to see what you're playing and whatnot because I think the archetype is fun. Uh, you know, I, it's nice to have some kind of rack effect in standard. And, uh, you know, it, it's just cool to play with Davriel and Planeswalkers and, and cars that, you you know, didn't really get much time to shine in its standard life. So, thanks for watching, and as always, if you like the content we make here at MTG Goldfish, feel free to leave a like, a sub, and hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video comes up. Other than that, it's your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger, signing out. I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.